Hello everyone and welcome to my product review video for Entrepreneurship 601. Today I'm going to review a product that I've used for a long time. It's called TechSmith Snagit. I've used TechSmith products uh, for quite some time. I first got turned on to this where I work actually. Um, sometimes I need to make instructional slides and pictures so Snagit usually fills the void there. First thing I'm going to do is take a walk through some basic features of uh, my current version of Snagit, which is Snagit 13. Uh, point out some things that could maybe be better. Then I'm going to upgrade my version to the current version of Snagit to see how it's improved. Uh, my first version was purchased in approximately 2017. It's about three years ago. So Snagit. Snag it as it's opened. It looks like this, um, which you can use this to scroll and take a picture of anything you want as long as you leave it open. Just click the capture button. And as soon as you take a capture, it will open the capture, record a video, or launch a panoramic view. Let's just do a screen grab here captured an image and immediately takes it into the Snagit editor. Uh, one s more simple way of doing that is I ten, uh, sometimes tend not to leave this video, this picture window open. I'll leave that closed. Instead, I do a small, if you can see up here, a small blue tab. This is the dormant Snagit. You can leave it open. Uh, it won't really affect your computer's performance. Just go up to the tab, hit the red button, and it's going to open that same capture window that we saw before. And this time we'll go ahead and do a panoramic photo, which is a really cool feature of Snagit. Launch a panoramic ca capture. Uh, when you launch a panoramic capture, it's going to literally just record your screen as you scroll down. It's very useful if you've got long blog posts or something that you want to take a picture of and post up somewhere. Click the start button and I'm going to scroll using my mouse wheel and I'm just going to capture the whole page all the way down to the bottom. Click stop. And like I said, there you go. It's captured the whole website from the top all the way to the bottom. It's a pretty cool feature. Um, Snagit's very useful um, if you're making instructional videos because you've got all of these um, little features up here. You can create your own stamp. Um, you can use arrows. This is my favorite feature to point something out. Click here. Um, you can modify these arrows. The One of the downfalls of Snagit is if you want to make a curving arrow it's kind of kind of hard to make that perfect curve um, but it'll pretty much get you by I usually find that creating arrows if I need to do some kind of specific curve it's easier to go ahead and import the photo into PowerPoint to get a really nice curve um, but it's still a good feature um, probably the most useful after the arrows is the text. You can type anything you want. I tend to use this uh, fluorescent green color on most of my instructions that I write because it tends to stand out. <clears throat> so you can leave a text box. And my next, uh, you can um, kind of deduce that these fill buttons, what they're going to do, it's literally just going to dye this box. You can dye all these windows. Um, shapes and callouts is literally just a text box with text in it. Uh, but you can do it in the shape of arrows. You can create custom shapes that you want them to fill. But here's the next best box, in my opinion. It's the number button which is very useful if you're wanting to do a one-step or two-step, three-step process. Say, click this button here, then this button here, 
then move on to this button, which you can then further supplement by taking arrows, go here, then go here, There's one bad feature about Snagit is it's not intuitive at first. You need to click another arrow. There we are. Make the arrow thickness bigger here. Now I've made another arrow. There we go. One, two, three. So like I said, <clears throat> the features of Snagit, sometimes uh, they're not super intuitive. It doesn't work like Microsoft Word that we're all used to using or PowerPoint. Um, so you kind of have to play with the buttons, figure it out. Um, final thing I'll show you is um, you can use Snagit to build slides such as you would use in PowerPoint, but in my opinion, the one bad thing about Snagit is it's a lot easier to build slides by, like I said, uh, modifying your smaller images and then uh, moving them into PowerPoint. So there's Snagit 13 in a nutshell. Um, now I'm gonna show you how to get Snagit. So you would go to techsmith.com and go to the products tab and snag it and it will be your number one asset there that you can purchase um, there's several other things but snag it's your number one and then followed by camtasia which is actually a really good product as well that is actually what i'm using to record this video and snag it and camtasia work very well together um, that's why you can buy them in a bundle the good thing about Snagit and Camtasia, actually all uh, TechSmith products, is since I already own a previous version, I can just click the Upgrade button, which I've already done in this tab. So I will, before I upgrade this version, I'll show you what I'm supposed to get out of this thing. Oh, here I am, over here, Snagit 13. I've missed out on the last two, three years worth of updates. So here we go, snapping to canvas, 64 bits, simplifying tools, uh, searching for new stamps, um, ooh, uh, arrow tail callouts, and creating video from images, that could be very useful, and creating images from templates. Not sure what that means, but hey, it could be good. So let's upgrade. And I've clicked my upgrade button, and I'll be back shortly after this thing downloads. Hey guys, I'm back with my new and improved Snagit, and I played with it a little bit offline so I can update you on the features. Um, like I mentioned, mentioned before, Snagit 13 has a little bit of a counterintuitive feel to it, um, like going from PC to Mac for the first time. Uh, as you can see, the Snagit window doesn't seem to have changed too much. Uh, I still prefer to have my little blue box up here to take captures. Overall, uh, the Snagit editor looks the same, um, but it feels a lot more natural, uh, such as using the arrows. They just seem to take a more natural curve to them. Um, you can add uh, thicknesses, arrowheads, things like that. but they just seem to uh, take a more natural curve. They also seem to snap in place uh, where the curve would look better. Um, they don't seem to take those wild curves like they used to. Um, the other good thing about the arrows is they automatically deselect. Um, before, you would have to hit the escape button every time you wanted to move away from that arrow, but this time you can add a new arrow pretty simply. The other feature I like is the create an image, which I didn't really know what it was for, 
but as soon as you open Snagit Editor 2020, it'll give you a how to create a template guide. As I mentioned before, using Snagit, um, the best way to do it was to create small images and then import them into PowerPoint, which you have to have two uh, programs open at the same time, which kind of made it a little bit clunky. But this new Snagit image from template tool is pretty cool. Uh, gives you a number of preset images, uh, slides rather, and you can just snap images to them. So it kind of takes the PowerPoint guesswork out of it. It's pretty cool. And you just drag and drop your images in here to build your image editor. So let me take a few more images here just to show you how quick and easy this can be. Take a picture of that. Now I can go back to my template and I'll just drag and drop some new pictures in here. And so it's pretty cool. So I'll go ahead and change the title here. So one. So you can see it just threw something together there real quick. So not too bad for just spending about a minute doing that. So to wrap this thing up, Snagit's a very powerful tool. It's helped me a lot in my work in school, so I would definitely recommend it. Um, aside from a few of its slightly counterintuitive uh, clicking features uh, when using arrows and text box boxes, it's definitely going to get the job done. So if you like this video review, please like, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll see you guys next time.